In Basic Computers Part 3, the most important idea that you need to understand is that your computer is built just like a filing cabinet. And everything that we do in this class, everything we do during this video, relate back to a regular filing cabinet. If you can do something with a regular filing cabinet, you can do the same thing with your computer. So let's take a look at a regular filing cabinet for a moment. Let's imagine that we're standing in front of a filing cabinet. What's the first thing that we notice? Well, the filing cabinet has drawers in it. Some filing cabinets might have two drawers. Some might have three, some might have four, some might have ten drawers. It all depends on the size of the filing cabinet. What do we put inside those drawers? Well, we can put up pretty much anything we'd like to inside that filing cabinet. We can open up one of those drawers and we can throw pictures inside, we can throw documents inside, letters, tax forms, whatever we like. Now most people don't just open up drawers and just throw all these documents inside because that would be very disorganized. It would be difficult to find something. So what most people do with these filing cabinets is they take folders and they place folders inside each drawer and then they neatly label each folder. That way once you open up a drawer you can look through your folders and find the items that you're looking for. You might have one folder labeled tax documents. You might have another folder labeled favorite recipes or whatever you like. The same thing holds true for computers. Now once you've opened up that drawer and you find the folder that you like, you can pull that folder out and look inside that folder. And what might be in there? Well, you might have just your documents. So let's say I pulled out a folder called tax documents. I could just have all my tax documents stuck inside that folder. Or, say I've been doing my taxes for years, I might have more folders inside that original folder. I might have a main folder called tax documents and then 10 more folders inside. One folder label, labeled 2004, one labeled 2003, one labeled 2002, one labeled 2001 for every year, etc., etc. You can do the same thing with your computer. You can add folders to each of the drawers or locations you can store information on your computer. And you can add subcategories just like we did with the tax example. So we know we have drawers in a filing cabinet. We know inside those drawers are folders. And inside those folders can be more folders or just the documents or files that we're looking for. Now, to find this filing cabinet on your computer, you need to find a location called My Computer. Now, My Computer is going to be located in one of two locations. My computer, or your filing cabinet, the entrance to your filing cabinet, will be located either on your desktop. A lot of the older computers have a little icon on the desktop. Or remember, icons are little pictures. It will be located on your desktop. And if you want to see your filing cabinet and all the different drawers or storage areas in your filing cabinet, you'd simply go up to your My Computer icon, give My Computer a double click, and you'd be able to see all the drawers or storage areas in your filing cabinet. With the newer computers, they took my computer off the desktop and they placed my computer inside the start menu. So you know that my computer will be in, in one of two places, either on your desktop as an icon or within your start menu. Now let's look for my computer together. To find my computer, move your mouse arrow until your mouse arrow is on top of the start button. Once the mouse arrow is on top of the start button, click the left mouse button one time and the start menu will open up. Located on the right hand side of the start menu will be the option My Computer. Slide your mouse arrow on top of the option My Computer. My Computer will become highlighted in blue and click the left mouse button one time and my computer will open up. Great job opening up my computer. Now let's take a look at this screen. Remember from Basic Computers Part 1 that we talked about that every 
program or anything that we work with on the computer will be displayed within a window. And we learned about four basic characteristics of every window. Now since we know those four basic characteristics, we already know a lot about my computer. Even though we may never have been to my computer before, we already have a head start. Take a look at the title bar at the top of the screen. That blue bar says my computer. So we know we have opened up the right option. We're looking inside my computer. That title bar will be extremely important as we go through this class because as we navigate through our computer, we're always going to have to check that title bar to see if we're looking in the right location. Right now, the title bar says my computer, so we're, we know we're looking inside my computer. During this class, I want everyone to get into the habit of always checking the title bar whenever we move to a new location. The second characteristic is in the upper right hand corner of that window we have the minimize, maximize, and close buttons. Those are always located in the upper right hand corner of every window. Just below the title bar we have that gray or that menu bar, that gray menu bar that contains several different menus for us. And the last characteristic that we have is down on the taskbar at the bottom of the screen there's a button that corresponds to our window, that corresponds to our title bar, and that button on our taskbar says my computer. Remember, every single time you open up a program and that program opens up in a window, you'll have a window on your desktop and a button that corresponds to that window down on your taskbar. So as you can see, we already know a lot about my computer.